Good Mythical Morning! Our adventures in Memphis continue at the veritable mecca of rock and roll. That's right, the home of the king himself, Elvis Presley, Graceland. We're here in Memphis visiting the headquarters of St. Jude Children's Hospital. St. Jude pioneers research and treatment for kids suffering from cancer and other life-threatening diseases at no cost to the families. We are raising money for St. Jude. With your help, you can donate by clicking on the blue donate button. If you don't see the blue button or you just want more information, you can go to stjude.org slash GMM. Now we're about to walk where the king walked. And if you're gonna walk like the king, you should probably eat like the king. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sample some of his favorite foods and rank them. It's time for We About to Stuff Our Face Land Up in Graceland. All right, so welcome to Elvis Presley's Graceland. Ryan, do we have to whisper? Oh no, you can talk as loud as you like. Okay, we can talk loud. <laughs> Before we tasted Elvis's favorite foods, we took a tour of his favorite home. Dang, there are a lot of TVs in here. Did he, did he watch much internet? All right, so let's head to where the magic happens. This is the jungle room. Oh, I've heard about yeah, this. Heard this. This is like what the Rainforest Cafe wants to be. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's exactly. But what would Elvis's favorite home be without his fleet of favorite cars? This one even had a restaurant booth in it, but apparently nobody told Rhett that. Favorite house, favorite cars, favorite plane. With yet another TV. All right, we were just on Elvis's plane. Any questions? And of course, what would Graceland be without a huge museum dedicated to the man himself? That is one impressive CD collection. All right, we're warmed up. It's time to taste some of Elvis's favorite food. Elvis made a lot of dishes famous by eating them, and today we are also going to eat them. They were prepared mm -hmm. by a chef here at Graceland according to his mama's official recipes. Yes, and we are going to taste them and then definitively rank them. Let's try the first dish. We're starting off with what is probably the most iconic Elvis dish. This is bacon fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Now I always, uh, maybe like you, had the misconception that there was bacon on the inside, but no, no, it's just peanut butter, peanut butter and banana, but it is fried in bacon grease. Because yes. putting bacon on it, that would be cross, that crosses its line. You just want to toe the line. It actually smells a little bacony. Oh yeah. Maybe that's the genius in it. That bacon. There's no actual bacon crunch, and sink it. You can imagine how good this is. You may have but had- But we're, we're experiencing it. You're just imagining it. A peanut butter and banana sandwich, but it turns out the frying it in bacon grease part is a stroke of genius. Puts would, it over the would top. Would you be offended if I just finished this whole piece? Why would I be offended? You might want it for yourself. Oh, well don't eat all of them, but. So um, this may move up or down in the rankings, but just, for now. Don't, don't put it at three. It's gotta at least be at two. I mean, I don't I'm wanna- I'm gonna go two and a half. I don't three wanna dishonor it. No, just two and a half. Now we're Southern boys, so we love some fried green tomatoes, except for Link, he hates tomatoes. He's gotta ruin it. I mean, I like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 because it has tomato sauce on it? Yeah. That's a stretch. I like ketchup. Uh, this doesn't have any ketchup. Uh, this is some Cajun ranch for dipping. Okay, now you can get these at Graceland whenever you visit. Um, mm. Oh gosh. How good is it? Dink it? Prepare yourself. You realize that is a tomato. It's a yellow tomato. Well, that's a green tomato. Hence the name. Oh, I remember now. It's yellow. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> Well, listen, it's not bad. Would you be offended if I ate this as well? Would you thing? be offended if I actually liked it? Because no, I'd like you a little bit more than I already do. It's, it, there's nothing tomato-y about it to me. It's tangy, it's fried. Mm. Oh, does this turn, is, is Elvis turned you on tomatoes? Or turned you on to tomatoes? Elvis turned me on <laughs> to fried green to tomatoes. To tomatoes. Put that on a t-shirt and sell it here. Mm. Also make a Who movie. Who do we talk to about that? There should, there should be a movie made about these. I don't know, he made 31 in 10 years. Or Kathy least... Bates was in it, it was a <laughs> Kathy Bates joke. You, you didn't get that? 
I mean, uh, I haven't seen the movie. I, I ignore all Kathy Bates jokes because I take her very seriously as an artist. Now, in terms of ranking this, the fact that I am willingly going to take a third bite and it's going to be the whole thing. Oh, well, wow. thanks for giving me the warning. <laughs> you know that that means this is good, right? Yeah, um, I would eat that one, but there's other stuff coming. Is it, it better than this? Uh, I mean, the fact that it, it, it helped, it turned you on two tomatoes makes me think that it should be above it, but I don't, I don't know. This is perfect. This is the perfect food. This is what St. Peter gives you when you arrive at heaven. <laughs> it's like, I knew you, 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 you'd be hungry. All right, so we're putting, <laughs> we're, we're putting the tomatoes a little bit lower, but not much lower. <laughs> Apparently Elvis loved bananas, because here it is in this pudding. <laughs> yeah, banana pudding. Banana pudding. Now, I feel like we're, you know, we're qualified to taste and judge this one, being from North Carolina. Yep. If you go to any potluck or family reunion and they don't have banana pudding, everyone is immediately sent to jail. It's a law, you have to serve it. But how much banana ratio to pudding to like the wafers, it's, you know. You stick your, your spoon in and see what happens. You let the universe decide. Look what the universe decided for me. Well, you dipped. I mean, that's not actually the universe deciding. No, no, I let the universe guide my hand. What does that even mean? I let the anyway? universe guide me at all times. I've let the universe guide me to this point right now. You should be thankful. <laughs> I get that. Oh, I know I'm gonna like this. You gotta get your whole mouth around it, though. Mmm, this is some good stuff. I'm told that Lisa Marie is, is here. In, is no? Okay. But when she comes here, she has to get some of this because it's her fave. Oh well, now that I know that, let me taste it again. You know, I bet Lisa Marie would like this. I bet that too. Can we both bet the same thing? I bet you the rest of this banana pudding. How does that work? We're both betting we just, the same we thing. We just keep eating it? Right. Um, we were right! It's incredibly good. Maybe because I've had it uh, so many times, it's not surprising in any way. It's just really, really solid. It, it doesn't have something that makes it specifically Elvis. Okay. So that's so why you're gonna I'm... gonna put it at four? I think I'm going a little lower here. I, I think, I don't want to dethrone the tomatoes. No, you shouldn't. From being in the middle. Do I have any um, of the white stuff on my nose? What's that stuff called? Skin? <laughs> oh, the cream. No, no whipped cream. I feel like you should apologize to Lisa Marie, though. I'm sorry, Lisa Marie. Yeah, we apologize. We'll make it up to you. <laughs> Elvis liked his salad just like me, on top of lettuce, but not consisting of lettuce. And containing Pepsi Cola. Yeah, Pepsi Cola salad. Uh, it's basically a jello fruit salad that has uh, Pepsi Cola inside of the uh, the Jello. So we got some fruits, we got some nuts, we even have some cream cheese. Oh yeah, and look, it's still alive. Put it out of its misery. Okay. Sorry for the violence. You know what? You can play with your food when you're not sharing it with me. Um, what? Well, I don't know why we're trying to get the exact same bite. <laughs> it's like I was going for the cream cheese. I saw that in there. I was just trying to use your spoon to help rake it onto my spoon because it—I mean, it—it it wants to crawl off the spoon. Oh, you got a nice and bite And that's there. a good thing. And ink it, sink it. Ooh. I can, I'm sorry, I regurgitated yeah. it a little bit. It bounces back. It was a lot colder than I thought it would be. Well, you thought Jello salad would be hot? <laughs> well, it was shockingly cool. Sure, eat that piece. I think that's what flew out of my mouth. <laughs> mm -mm. No, that's the part that flew out of your mouth. Oh, over there? Do you taste the Pepsi? The surprising part There's to me- There's a hint, a hint of Pepsi. Is the cream cheese. That's what is- Surprising? It's surprising to me, yeah. It's good. Like, I, I've never had Jello and cream cheese. I mean, it's refreshing. You kind of think that you might be eating something that's a little healthier. But probably not. But then you find out that Pepsi Cola's in it, and you're like, nope, it's not. Yeah. Um, it's got, if it got, it's got some crunchiness from the nuts. It's got some whole foods in there, though. That's whole fruits, or well, pieces of whole fruits, and uh, nuts, fruits and nuts, man. You eating fruits and nuts? We're you, really trying you, to make this the healthiest one, um, which gives it some sort of points. There's whole foods here. Um, it's very tasty, but if I was presented with these four things, the last thing I would eat. I believe is the Pepsi Cola salad, just between me and you. Maybe you should try some of the lettuce. Just see how, just see how it is. 
Does that change the way you feel about it? Uh, yeah, makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken a la king. I don't know if he liked this just because it had the word king in it, um, that or just that he liked chicken, uh, but here we are. It looks like somebody got mad at a chicken pot pie. Right, there's chicken, there's peas, there's green peppers, there's mushrooms, there's pimento, and there's some croutons. I delightful, like delightful bed of croutons. Yeah, you don't need a really need a fork, like right? kind of like nachos. Yeah, it's chicken pot nachos. Chicken pot nachos. That's rebranding. Oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Uh oh. That seemed like a great idea until I tried it. Yeah, you really gotta. So, so we're encountering a challenge here that, you know, if, if Elvis. I got a good bite if you'll just dink it before it falls apart. Sink it. Hmm. You got the crunch of the crouton. You got the, the crouton chicken. or the crouton? Crouton. You've got the chickenness of the chicken. It's, Is it kingly? It's pretty straightforward. Mm hmm. The thing I don't like about a chicken pot pie is, is the mystery. I like it being splayed out before me. Yeah, right. Well, you know, that, and that's how kings eat. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, like there, a spread. There, well, it's no, all a spread. No, there's, like a, there's a person who tastes it before they taste it. No secrets, you know what I mean? You want it right out there in the open, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. right in your mouth. This is good. But, I sense a butt coming. Well, I'm getting some more of this peanut butter and banana bacon fried. Well, it's definitely not better than that. Mm -mm. Um, I feel like... Is it better than banana pudding? No. I don't think so, man. You feel, how good do you feel about that? I feel 100% confident that this magical dish right here, bacon fried peanut butter banana sandwich, is, as you said, a perfect dish. Mm. So there it is. This is definitively the best dish, followed mm -hmm. by fried green tomatoes, banana pudding, chicken a la king, and Pepsi Cola salad. Mm hmm. You are crowned the king of the king dishes. Would you be offended if I. No, ate please, this whole please thing? do it. Please do it. Thank you for donating to St. Jude using the blue donate button. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Now you say, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. My name is Clara. My name is Jordan. Claudia. Colby. Hannah. And we're in downtown Memphis. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Hey, what's up? It's John and Jen here, aka Jonifer. Click the top link to watch us rank some banana snacks and good mythical more. And find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. <laughs> Boom. Zip ups, crew necks, and pullovers.